playing the control game to make sure, not necessarily Trump, they've already done that, but other people that are coming up, a Candace Owens that all of a sudden does a live and gets 22 million views, well, let's silence her. You think there's going to be a lot more stories like that happen in the next couple of years? Absolutely. And here's one of the kind of the, the buried leads or untold stories. The progressive left really took it out on Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg after Trump won in 2016. And they said, it's because of you. You guys came up with those platforms. You allowed Trump to evade the media, go directly to people. It's on you. I think that's a big part of the reason why you saw Zuckerberg then go and fund some of the election efforts uh, with the drop boxes and the, the things of that nature. Kind of the good, is he would, I'm sure, probably describe a good government and pro voting, but he basically was funding, he knew what he was funding. Um, but the, uh, that's why you saw so much of the backlash. They changed the rules of the game. 2020. They said, okay, Trump, you're not going to have the unfettered access. We're going to suspend you where necessary. We'll put up the warning labels. And now, post-election, they ultimately banned him from their accounts. So I think that will ratchet up even higher. And that's part of the thing you look at, again, not where the ball is right now, but where it's going. As we go into these elections, not just the 2022 midterms or even 2024, Facebook and Twitter have already made that business decision that they want some people as customers and others they don't want as customers, not just in the U.S., but around the world. They're, both of those platforms are going to lose tremendous amounts of people as they come in and exercise additional acts of political discrimination. Well, we saw that when they lost $240 billion in a day. Facebook, that's a lot of money to lose in a day, 240 in a single day. So who, who will be the supporters? Go on the flip side now. Who will be the supporters and who will be the surprising supporters? So one, and again, there's you probably already aware of this one. I think uh, Latinos and Hispanic Americans will be big drivers for Trump. And okay. part of the reason is this. Democrats made a, a just a fundamental miscalculation when they backed the BLM movement the, the way they did in 2020, uh, just with the, the lawlessness and the, the acts of looting and, and everything that, that we saw come out of those those riots and protests. I think that you have a lot of white Democrats in Washington who don't understand the Hispanic and Latino American communities at all and think it's purely just about economics. You travel to Central and South America, and people have eight, nine-foot walls around their house or eight, nine-foot gates and, and walls and, and uh, fences, things of that nature. It's because it's not safe. I mean, you go to Columbia and even good neighborhoods, you have the, the uniformed officers with, with machine guns. Uh, it's because of the challenges they've had. It's not just about economics. It's also about security. People want to live in a place where their kids can walk to school uh, without being potentially abducted or killed or shot or uh, something of that nature. And by Democrats embracing the BLM movement, they I think they did a generation worth of damage to their relationship with the Latino and Hispanic American communities. And you saw that not just in the, in the Rio Grande, yeah. but I think Latino Americans would be the surprising driver for Trump. Uh, and I also think, too, uh, uh, look, Trump got, a lot of people forget this, Trump did record setting well for with Latino Americans, black Americans, Asian Americans, best ever for a Republican since 1972. And I think that movement by African Americans away from the Democratic Party, that whether they be going to independence or going to Republican, I think that's continuing because quite frankly, I don't think Democrats have made good on their promises to black Americans at all. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the